the star power. Stay tuned because you know Reese is going to have one of your favorite stars for him today. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's right, man. We back at the Reese Radio Live. Hold on. Before we get all the way in the game, because I know if you streaming live, you see us and you see who's in the building. Let me shout out all the affiliate stations we rocking with right now. CMVA 107.5 Charlotte. What's happening? The game with my brother, Potty Ali. Tuesdays, 104.9 Indiana, 88.7 in Miami. And, of course, Michigan. Can't forget about y'all, 97.3. This will definitely be on the game. And shout out to my brother from another mother, Manny. The connect in the building right now. He's bought us a gym. So Somebody we've been wanting to sit down with, chop it up with, get the story, and then he dropped music. He made y'all work for it though. He made y'all drop, you know, I say all them comments and get that music out today. We got the homie, the homie, the res the shine in the building. What's up, bro? What's happening? What's happening? Man, first of all, you can't just be dropping music like this when I got <laughs> stuff to do in the morning, bro. I'm in the car jamming. I'm like, man, I'm supposed to be driving into the studio. <laughs> I said, you got your little princess with you. Oh, yeah. You she know what I'm saying? She be without me this morning. I love it, man. I love it, man. Usually, I have a four-year-old running around in here, too. So, yeah, you fast. know what I'm saying? Well, I wish you I should have bought her today. Run around with her. <laughs> exactly. All right, man. Before we get started, I, we'd like to do something up here for people that, you know, of a certain stature, start, certain presence. And you have definitely broken some some barriers. You, you've made a name for yourself within the industry, you know what I'm saying, from your work. So we do a thing called the biggest intro ever. So you ready for that, bro? Yes, sir. All right, for sure, man. This man has single-handedly created a new updated subgenre of music that we all have come to know as pain, but I like to call it street gospels. This certified gold artist that lived on Billboard for a record-breaking time has an undeniable voice and emotion that blends perfectly with the tracks. I personally watched backstage as he's performed in front of a stadium-sized audience and watched females cry real tears as they sang along to his songs and music. The Reds has performed alongside and made classics with artists like Lil Baby, K Camp, Two Chain. Wild Finn Lucci, Yo Gotti, Russ, Mozzie, Kevin Gates, Moray, and more. He's a father, a record breaking artist, social media chef. The Reds Deshaun is live on the re show. I give it up for him. Yes, sir. Yeah, bro. You be whipping in the kitchen, man. I'm doing all that. Yeah. <laughs> I said, that man making meatloaf. You know, you can cook when you make meatloaf. That's a grandma hey, meal. You know what? Yeah, when I, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. That was my first meatloaf. Yeah, for real? Yeah, like I always seen it, but I stayed away from it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it looked tricky. Too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How you, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's bread fact. crumbs and molding it and making yeah. sure it's done. See, like, that's how you know that man said bread crumbs. You know yeah. the secret sauce, the real yeah. secret sauce. <laughs> All right, man. Let, let's get into it because this one of them interviews where you got fans that just knew you from the music. Mm -hmm. You know, because you blew up nationwide, worldwide, really. Then you got also fans that been following you since Southside Debo days. Like oh, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they kind of know the story, but but some people don't. So how was it like for you growing up? And then we get into the come up, and then we are gonna get into some some real like you know stuff that's going on right now. Now. So growing up, what was it growing like? Growing up for me, man, I grew up with a man. Like I grew up with my father, mm -hmm. uh, so it wasn't like the normal kids. Like I didn't get all the, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, nourishment I, from I know. mom and all the soft <laughs> sweet. You know, it's okay. <laughs> I grew up with a man that's make it happen, get it done. You yeah, know what I'm saying? right. Almost by any means, the type of situation. Yes, sir. Yeah, I get it. No I get plan, it. No cry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think he might be the reason for me rapping all this pain. I hear so much in. Yeah, <laughs> you got that therapy going in the music. Yeah. I love it, man. It's, it's a lot of uh, genuine sounds when you when you do your music. So I get Thank that. You. And I grew up with my pops too, so I know exactly what you mean, yeah, bro. Fat. It ain't gonna be no nah, nah, yeah, bro. Fat. Figure figure that out right yeah, here. Yeah, fat. Right. Even when it was stuff with my little brothers, right? Yeah. Who broke the table? <laughs> I don't know. I ain't no one don't know. Somebody better say something. Mm -hmm. Everybody getting a whooping. <laughs> That's it, man. One for all. I've been there too. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, so, so you coming up with your pops, and I know that's a little bit different because we we are. We see different things, you know what I'm saying, than most other households in our neighborhood, right? Yep, yep. But you also get to experience the street life. And from what I've noticed, and this is not, you know, for everybody, but for what I've noticed, guys that kind of grew up with a male in the household, we tend to be more observant when we hit the yeah, streets and jump off the porch. Yes, sir. So how was that for you and, and, and your, you know, coming of age? I mean, it, it, like you say, it made me very observant, you know what I'm saying? Growing up with a man, him being a man that was in the streets once upon a time, mm -hmm. and he seeing the same patterns. He definitely taught me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Don't trust nothing. Mm. Pay attention to everything. Uh, it's truth and jokes always. Mm. Listen to the jokes. See what, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so it helped me a lot. It helped me with the, uh, I, I, a lot of people may say like, I'm paranoid or paranoid, but it helped me peep vibes. It helped right. me 
Like, oh no, nah, butter them ain't right. Salt mm -hmm. so salt of soul ain't right. Like mm -hmm. so um that did help, you know what I'm saying, to be able to pay attention and watch and observe. Yeah. And know the difference between real and <laughs> not so much. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. it. I definitely get that, man. Um, so who like who's you come up? Who's your musical influences coming up? Who's you bumping? I really couldn't say I had like a particular music influence. My dad mm -hmm. listened to all music, every okay. kind of music, like R and B, uh, Usher, um, blues, mm. um, you know, like I can remember little CDs like the Gap Two Band, uh Okay. Uh, now I see where all this soul comes yeah, from. So many, yeah. it's so many. Like I, I really, it be every time I get this question, hey, I can't just single it out because a think. million things go through my mind. Yeah, but I listen from everybody from the East Coast, West Coast, mm -hmm. the South, um, everywhere, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel you. It, it, when I listen to music, and I, and I mean this in the most respectful way possible, bro. When you get into your groove, when you doing that soul, it sounds like a mix between Pop and Teddy Pendergrass, bro. Oh, it's like hard. that's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> that's yeah, hard. I like it because you know you gonna you gonna ride to it and listen to the words. I'm like, yeah, I can relate to this. But then at the same time, we got that soul in it. Like Teddy yeah. P gonna tell you, you know what I'm saying? Put the soul in there. <laughs> got to put right. it in there. That's right. That's right, man. So I know you went through your other situation. You had this huge song. You know what I'm saying? I know the first time I heard, I was like, this out of here. I got in trouble actually. <laughs> I got in trouble for spiking your music. For real, <laughs> yeah, for real. Like. I got to talk to. I ain't getting in trouble. I got talked to. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was like, why does this song keep playing during your shift every hour? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I like the song. What you want me to do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, it's, it's not that type of rotation yet. But that was early. I was playing Hardaway. Like right. I play it, and then I do another break, and I, and I play it again the next oh, hour. I, I just like that. the song. I appreciate that's real. Yeah, appreciate to that. me that was my deal, Mama. And shout out to Hurricane Dave for you know he, he didn't oh, yeah. he didn't take me off the radio, but he he talked to me yeah. about it. He's like, we can't do it like that. Hey, all right, yeah, all right now, yeah. You're playing, you're playing. <laughs> but to me, it, it was like that was like that time. It felt like a, somebody had dropped Dear Mama, and that's, that's what it felt like. Deep, you know what I'm saying? That's what it felt like. What was you mentally going through? We kind of hear it, but what was you going through when you was recording these records like that? Man, I just I go somewhere else, bro. I, mm. I be in my soul. Like I, I I don't even know. It's like I teleport from wherever I am in the universe and then mm. come back down to the earth and hit me like, yeah. wham, this is what you want right now. Mm. Do this and figure it out. And it just hit me like all at once. Like um, the hook or whatever I had, I already had mm -hmm. before I did like the song. Yeah. So I had the hook. I was trying to work on it. But being under pressure mm. when I was in L.A. and recorded it, it was like, mm. I don't know. It just came from deep down inside. So who was y'all in L.A. with when you was recording? It was me. Um, I was out there with uh, June Jones, London on the track, okay. Birdman. Uh, a lot of Soldier Boy was there. Compton Minis. Yeah. Turk was there, like That's everybody. Crazy. Like it was yeah. it, like all, I like a lot so, of creativity in that in that yeah, building. So, so yeah, pressure, I was like, ooh, <laughs> ooh, all these folks. You know what I mean? And then like, you come out with gold, though. They had to feel great. I mean. What what far as the record? Yeah, it like went you platinum. It went platinum. No, what I'm saying, you you yes, it did go platinum. Yeah. I'm saying you made something golden. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you yeah. got all those people in I there. I ain't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't yeah. I just get in there and work. I don't really yeah. you know what I'm saying? I could never tell even to this day, I couldn't tell you like, oh yeah, this the one or this mm -hmm. gonna go like yeah. I just do it. Just do it and yeah. then let it let the yeah. people choose. I let man figure out how <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did for. He good at yeah. that, so that's good. You got yeah. the right team, man. <laughs> So, so I do want to ask you a question about that because that's a, that's a crazy time because you with Birdman and them not officially but you yeah. around that camp right? right? You make this song that's out of here right? right. It start getting bubbling it's out of here but you was at Breakfast Club with the Birdman situation yeah, yeah. The, the all tree y'all situation the all right? tree y'all but then you end up doing a situation with Envy right bro? So how the hell did that happen? So, uh, Envy Envy. Some kind of way got in touch with my brother. Okay. Right? Yeah. And um, from my understanding, he came to Atlanta. DJ and Dirty was playing it, which my DJ, by yeah. the way. Um, he was playing it so heavy. Mm -hmm. The city done got locked in on it. Yeah. So he came to 1145. Envy came to 1145 one time. Yeah. And, uh, he heard it, and he was like, wow, the crowd going crazy. Everybody mm -hmm. know every word. And some kind of way, he got in touch with my brother. My brother came upstairs to wake me. I'm talking about I'm still, at this time, 
I'm still sleeping on the floor like the mattress on the floor. Yeah. I got a mattress now. Yeah. Ain't just the floor. You and feel now, me? No, no, hold on. That boy got the whole bed frame. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Talk yeah. to him. Headboard money. Yeah, you know? for real. On the headboard, I ain't gonna right. nothing. That bitch just on the wall. Yeah, so so uh we do that. And um once we do that, my brother coming there, he like, hey bro, somebody named Envy keep calling me, bro. Uh-huh. I'm like, Envy. Yeah. Envy who? Right. He like DJ Envy. I'm like, man, whatever, man. I ain't no like DJ you thought he was Envy playing, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Why he calling you? Right. You know what I'm saying? He like, oh, all right, don't worry about it. Anymore. <laughs> so then he called again, and then my brother like, man, this the boy DJ Envy, man. You gonna talk to him? But now he keep blowing my phone up. Right. So I get on the phone, and at first I'm like, yeah, right. Who this? Right. Thank you. Hey, the Reds, what's up? It's DJ Henry. I'm like, oh, whoa. This oh, really oh, you. Bro, this right. him. I said, <laughs> yeah. bro, this him. Right. So we chopped it up. Um, I called my manager at the time. He didn't believe it the same way. I didn't believe it. <laughs> right. And then I, they swapped numbers. They chopped it up. And then through there, they did whatever business plan they thought was going to work better right. for both of us to be in business. Right. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. But now you got your all the way free. You got all the way free. All the way free. Oh, you just got straight distribution. That's it. Me How? and Manning run the show. Me, Manning, and Rocket. We that's run the show. That's what's up, man. Talk to me about this newfound freedom because I, I think an artist like you who does one thing so well mm -hmm. that sometimes uh, we forget, even as fans or as consumers of music, that the other stuff you drop is hard, too. It just may not be that certain sound. Right. Well, and, and I can understand that, and I can respect that. That's why a lot of times I hear, you know, make another hard way or mm -hmm. stay in that lane, which I can respect for those people. But right. like you say, I'm an artist, bro. I, I do I, all my music hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm always feed my core fan base that type of music. Yeah. But I'm also going to, you know what I'm saying, elevate and grow with music. I like I like because uh, social media gives us a, a way to see that. Like yeah. I saw you used to drop the little snippet of Southside with Lotto. Shout out Lotto. Oh and yeah, like, for sure. We get a hair different, a little bit different. Bit Lotto, she killing it right now. Yeah, Southside got a lot of talent coming out, yeah, man. It's crazy, for sure. definitely crazy. And it's more on the way. Yeah, I got them in the headlock too. All right, let's talk. <laughs> we are gonna talk about that in a second. I gotta talk <laughs> all the reds to Sean right now though. So when you making these other songs and, and you, it's kind of the same process. You hear the you hear the track and then you just go crazy. Um, mostly, yeah, most of the time, unless mm. the producer got an idea. Mm. Um, but most of the time, it's me going in on the track and um, yeah, making my voice become an instrument. In yeah, sense. yeah, I like that. That's definitely what I hear when I hear the music. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it's real melodic a lot of times. And even when you come from that, when you come out of the quote unquote pain and you go into that bounce, you got a different kind of cadence. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. You, you, you can speed it up. It up like, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, You're going I can't. I can't be flat. Like mm -hmm. I used to though. Like mm -hmm. when I ain't understand like music is a feeling. Like yeah. at first, I didn't understand it. It was just like yeah. therapeutic for me to just be able to go in and record and get my tension, get yeah. my tension up off me. Like, but now I'm understanding, and the more and more that I record, I'm understanding it's a feeling, it's a vibe. A hit record is not necessarily what you're talking about. Is how you feel when you yeah. listen to it and how you feel when you repeat and recite what you're saying. Right. So it's like I'm learning that, and that's kind of what I do. I just go in. I might even say a line 30 different times mm -hmm. just to see what's one feel better. Right. That you makes sense. I mean? That makes sense. I think that's what Dre be making people do. So you got a winning formula over there, brother. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> we learning. We still add recipe. We yeah. put it together now. <laughs> I like it, man. Uh, right now, if y'all just tuning in to the radio side of things, shout out to everybody listening. Uh, we got Derez Deshaun in the building. We just kind of chopping it up about his musical journey and his journey just as a man in general. Um, we kind of talked about some things, the way you maneuvering and coming to uh, this new light. Now you 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 independent you know what i'm saying you drop a music kind of when you want to is that one of the things that in your previous situation that you I was like i want it. i need to do it different yeah like in my previous situation <clears throat> i definitely wanted to drop the music how i wanted to but mm -hmm. i couldn't be in that i was in like a partnership so i never actually mm -hmm. signed a deal with nobody mm -hmm. i just had like a, a agreement a partnership with somebody with yeah. a commission commission yeah yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah and I had that partnership with Commission, and um, they kind of had the, oh, I want to do this, or we going to drop this, or I can do this better, or, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I yeah, used to be yeah. like, nah, this is not working for me. Like, yeah. 
And and no disrespect to them, I'm just mm-hmm. saying it didn't work for me. It might have worked for the other artists they had, yeah. but not me. You you can have a great fighter, and then you can have a great coach, but that don't mean they styles gonna work together right. Right, and that's exactly. what it sounds like. Exactly, that's yeah. all it was. Yeah, I appreciate everything they did mm-hmm. though, because without them being involved in my situation, yeah, I wouldn't even be. In this situation, I got you. I got you. Know what you. I'm saying? Definitely, man. That's dope, man. That you that you able. And I always like, you know what? I always like, like <clears throat> I could talk to anybody within the industry, different circles, and your name always good. You know what I'm saying? Like they be like, man, bro, cool. You know what I'm saying? I love to work with him. So that's what I like. And I also like that you seem to be the like the founder of of this this new. I know zero and them guys like yeah, that kind of. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Them. But with this new. The new generation of folks making this type of music. You I was like the first okay. one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out to the ones before me, the Zeros, the Trader Truth. Yeah. Um, uh, what's my buddy anything's plenty, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, better than now. All of them. Like, yeah. um, you know what I'm saying? They 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 sparked and it made the the wave, you know, be possible right. for me to do that. <clears throat> me and the others, all the ones who doing it. Right. It's just like um, I feel like I came in and embraced it. Cause when I yeah. first was doing it, like back when I like when I really was doing it, yeah. People used to tell me all the time, "Oh, you too emotional. Oh, don't nobody want to hear that. It sound like you crying all yeah. the time. You always going through something. You always in your feelings." And I'm like, "Yeah, like yeah. the rest of the world is, bro." Right. It's you know a lot of saying? people that can relate, and I think that's what made it pop. Plus, I think you're the right person to do it, cause you you might be quote unquote emotional, mm. but I don't think nobody's gonna try you like you were soft. So that was a good thing. The crazy thing <clears> about that is, I I would have only assumed that's because of my size, right? And, yeah. And the way that I carry myself, uh-huh. which comes from growing up with a father, right? But um, you know, the world is crazy nowadays. Yeah, like, it is. People are trying things off of the music, <laughs> but they better know they really do it <laughs> online. Mu- though. The, mu- the music is the music. Right. Now, in real life, you know, the Debo. You know what I'm saying? That's the different person. It's a Debo too involved in this. It's the red, the sun, <laughs> no. and then it's Debo. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to meet Debo. Just don't, keep it nobody on. Nobody want to meet Debo. I know that's tough. When I, I sat down with Cass, um, Casanova, um, free Cass. Oh, yeah, when I sat free, down with him, yeah, yeah, for sure. it, he was kind of going through the same type of like struggle type situation, right? You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? It's baby proof back there. It's oh, yeah, cool. no, yeah, she good. I'm yeah, just I, sure. <laughs> I ain't no chorus or nothing. I ain't <laughs> right. trying to be in, you know what I mean? Nah, it's cool, man. So, um, uh, when I talked to him, he was just like, "Bro, you know, it's hard a little bit when you when you maneuvering in these different rooms, and some of these people aren't authentic. And then Man, for a guy like hard. like him or like you, you know what I mean? Even yeah. me, sometimes it's hard to play the politics. It is, and, yeah. and, and and I'm gonna tell you the only way I'm learning how to do that now." Deep down inside, I still feel like, man, I'm straight. I'm not trying to go there for what? They don't mm. this and they don't do that. And <laughs> they ain't supporting this and they ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But man, I always talk to me. He say, bro, it's a business, bro. You got to play the game. Play the game. So now I'm understanding it is bigger than what I what I value this game as. Yeah. Uh, morals and, 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 and uh, responsibilities. Mm-hmm. So now I'm just playing the game. Now, I'm going to be real, authentic. Right. right. But, you know, it's certain stuff, you know, that I ain't going to participate in and yeah. I don't care what nobody say or oh, how much it can benefit me. You got to have a line. Yeah, it is definitely a line. Right. I would never be on no corny sucker. I would right. never do none of that. Mm. I'm not going back and forth with no artists. I'm yeah. not, you know, I'm not going to play that game. Right, right. But... <clears throat> I will play the, you know, pop out, show up, show your face, shake yeah. hands. You know what I'm saying? I'll do that. But, yeah, yeah I ain't. He's going to do the other stuff. Yeah. We ain't even got to talk about it. We right. already know what's going on. Man, uh, on the end of this song that you dropped this morning, why I couldn't get out the car. This, this, <laughs> why I was late to the radio. It's his yeah. fault. Just want yeah. y'all to know. That. <laughs> it's my fault. No right. matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the band, in the end of this song that you dropped, man, yeah. uh, the end, you say a dream turned into a nightmare. It felt like yes. that, man. Kind of explain that to the people. Man, it just feel like um, when I when I when I dreamed this, when I didn't have nothing, when mm-hmm. I was struggling, when me and my boys was going through the most, you know what I'm saying, and my crew, mm-hmm. you know, I never looked at them like my my friends. It was my family. Yeah, I spent more time with my street family than I did my actual family. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Most of so, us do. We 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 make our own family. Yeah, we, we have make, relatives. And we right. Make our we own got family. our relatives, but yeah. this my family, and and. The way that I seen it then was very different from how it's going now. Like, mm. 
I used to have conversations with, you know, with my people like, hey, bro, when I make it, this is what we going to do. We're going to be on this. Oh, we're going to get a big old house and all of us going to live in it, blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah. all that. Yeah. All the, you know, whatever. The dream, we, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the dream, yeah. But then as we started to progress and get to that point, I started to see a lot of people change. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people, I guess what they say, uh, they, they shed their skin. Yeah. And started to reveal their real self. Like, <laughs> yeah, scrappy toe. I started to see yeah. a lot of envy a lot of jealousy and not even on me doing anything wrong to nobody yeah. or not doing enough or none of that because mm -hmm. i played my part i did right. what i could and what i couldn't i just couldn't you know what I'm saying? That, definitely yeah but a lot of uh oh he don't you know he the one with the light on him was oh he mm -hmm. the one with the red bottoms or he gained a new chain i right. ain't getting one or all the girls want his number now not my like and i used to be like bro I don't care about none of that stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why it happened for you because you don't. Yeah, I don't care about none. Even <clears throat> to this day, like, I yeah. can be honest. I do not care about jury. This is my costume. Gotcha. This is a part of It's real. Don't get it twisted. No, we, we It's have, real we, jury. It's like dancing costume jury. Too, yeah. It's my costume. It's part of the fit, though. Right. You feel right. what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, that's part of your job. Yeah. But, but I watched that, and I watched how my success made a lot of other people feel like, I guess I'm going to assume, mm -hmm. and this is my words, not a quote for nobody I know, Yeah, but I'm going to assume and shine light on their failures and why they are not successful, which it didn't have to be that. Because yeah. if you came with a game plan, we could have put that together. That makes but sense. instead of people want to be, let's say, a barber, and yeah. we get a shop, they wanted to be a rapper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, see yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Instead sense. of owning your own car shop, you want to – Write my music. You want, you know what I mean? Like, right. no, nah, bro, I don't need you to do that. Let's yeah. do what we were talking about before this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You was really like, all right, let's get to the money. And the end of the means is to yeah. be successful. Everybody don't have to be in the same lane. Everybody I'm already to... killing this lane. Right. Let's do the car lane. Let's do this. Right, I feel man. You Everybody can't shoot the basketball. <clears throat> Somebody got to run down the court, right. watch everything. Somebody got to pass it. Somebody got to be able to get the rebound if he missed. Right. Somebody got to be able to dunk on these folks if right. we can't shoot outside. Like right. You get what I'm saying? But everybody it. wanted to be the superstar. Yeah. And I'm not saying every single individual I was with, and I ain't going to lie, this is the first time I'm going to say this ever, I hate that I distanced myself from some of the people that I was with because mm. it's not even their fault. It's just that you you in that you yeah. still in that environment and I can't be in that space. Yeah, we seen it happen. We see these tragedy stories that happen with people that have quote unquote made it out of certain situations. And yeah. it's like you want to pull everybody up that you can, I, but it's just it's not possible if folks can't shake a certain mind frame. Right. Yeah. And, and, and it ain't even shake a certain mind frame. It's it's develop a certain mind frame. That's true. Exposure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody comes from something. Yeah, Everybody. Right. But if you don't put your mind forward into being bigger and better than what you come from, mm -hmm. then you're gonna only be what you are and what you come from. That's a bar. And I had to make that up. I had to make that decision in my head. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Debo. Yeah, I can rap. Yeah, I can freestyle. Yeah, I can go pass CDs out and pay my little section eight house bills and rents and shit. But that ain't what I want. Yeah. Like I want to know what it's like to travel overseas. Right. I want to know what it's like to drive a foreign. I want to know what it's like to buy my mom my house mm. and buy my dad a you know, my dad want an old school Nova. And yeah. I'm gonna get it for him. Yeah. He want the two though. Well okay. I think he said he want the photo with it's the gonna long be hard to find that. But yeah, but, I but I'm gonna do mean. it. One day it. I'm yeah. gonna do that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. I'm gonna do that and I want to do it. Yeah. I want to see people around me getting money. I don't want to be the only person with money. Yeah. Because one day, I'm going to have to fall back and be like, hey, man, Your turn. put me on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you do that. Now get me right with my cooking. Right. You feel me? I like that. You yeah. Did? I right. like that. I so, love that, man. Yeah. You got to have that team. That remind me of LeBron James and his team. Like, he the one hooping, but he got four other dudes doing this, this, that, this. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Fact. And that's what I see with your team right here. And I know some of these guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you know what we doing. Yeah, I already know what's going <laughs> yeah. on. You want to be able to fly somebody in from France and paint your you wall. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> shout, out, shout out my boy Rocky. All right, man. <laughs> hey man, we in here chopping it up with the Reds and Sean about some, some amazing things, man. Talk to me about this new this new album that you got coming out, bigger than me. Oh yeah. What what is that about? How do how did we get this name? And then let's talk about these two songs. You you teasing us, bro. This is the, the <laughs> <laughs> he just just releasing this music slow for me. But all right, we're gonna talk about this in a second. Bigger than me. Talk about it. Bigger than me, right? Uh it's self explanatory. This whole thing that I'm doing, the whole situation, the whole put together, mm -hmm. everything that I'm doing is bigger than me. My problems that I face every day mm -hmm. bigger than me. My issues, my success, like yeah. everything is just all bigger than me. Yeah. Um, 
And I gotta display that with this album. Like mm-hmm. I gotta let the world know. Like, and, and if not the world, like I think this is one of my most personal albums. Okay. So it's not that's the world of her. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. I was just Rocky. thinking about it. When, yeah, yeah, so Lil Man is Salt. Shout out to Salt. Like, yeah. my girl, my 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 family. Like, mm-hmm. it's it's this is bigger than me, y'all. Like, yeah. I'm doing this for us. This yeah. is not for me. Mm-hmm. And it just, helps me, but it's for us. Like, yeah. ultimately, it's working through your talent. Yeah, and your, and your drive. I love yeah. that, man. I think you can't miss with something like that. I, I hope not. I'm gonna put it out there. You ain't gotta <laughs> we say put, it. I'm hey, we say put, it. Hey, we putting it all in. Look, no label. It's just us. We doing this, like yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it, man. I love the diversity within the team and, and different mind frames. But everybody got the same goal, and that's Facts. win. Yeah, Facts. win. That's it. And sometimes I'm gonna be honest. I think Rocky and Manny want me to win more than I want to win. Cause mm-hmm. I, you need that. My fo- I do need you it need because that. my 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 mind frame. Mm-hmm. I'm like, long as my kid is good, long as I can help my dad, long as I can help my mom, mm-hmm. long as my brothers can call me and get some air now and then, I'm good. You're straight. You feel me? Yeah. They see you bigger than that. Yeah. They like, come on, man. Right. <laughs> I had the same conversation with my pops. Like, he be like, nah, bro, you this big. Yeah. Like, I just want to make sure I can, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. you need 10,000, I want to be like, here, send your account. Like, that's you make me feel I good. Do. Yeah. I don't want too right. much. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I get much. it. Yeah. The only thing I care for for real is family, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All that other stuff. like, And I'm growing, so I'm knowing, like, everything I used to want, I don't even want no more. Mm. Like, I used to want to, you know, do certain things and drive yeah. certain cars. And, right. You know, I have just, a certain type of girl. Mm-hmm. And like, man, I got what I want, mm-hmm. or at least what I need, and yeah. I'm satisfied with it. That's big. You, know you, what I'm you real self aware, man. You 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 gonna need that because I I think the level of success you're going to having uh, self awareness gonna keep you there a long time. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah, no doubt. All right, man. Before we get into this song, because we definitely we want to hear all them days. We gonna play abandoned. Yeah. Because Manny sent it to me, so I'm just gonna say it's okay for me to play it. Uh, before that, let me ask a question because you got your little mama in here, man. Mm-hmm. What What is fatherhood to you? <clears throat> fatherhood is the biggest responsibility a man will ever have in his life. Mm-hmm. In my eyes, yeah. that's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, it's rough. Mm-hmm. But it, 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 it makes you strong. It builds a different character in a man. Yeah. Um, fatherhood give you a different pride in life. Mm. Uh, it give you a different stride when you walk. It give you a different ambition. Mm. And when you do whatever you're doing, because it's like, uh, you know, I grew up with my father. Right. But he, cannot, he did what, what he could do. And right. sometimes what he could do wasn't enough. Mm-hmm. But it was what we had, and we dealt with it. Right. So... You know, I appreciate my father for that because he could have dipped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. So even though we didn't have the world, we had our world. Yeah. And that's the same ambition that I got with all my kids. And it's yeah. like, we're going to have our world. And yeah. whatever that may be, mm-hmm. you know, right now, God blessing us to, right. to do what we want and, 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 and build different dreams amongst mm-hmm. each other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But whether we in a mansion or under a bridge, I'm trying to establish the fact that we are family. Mm. And we gonna hold each other down and accountable. I like that. I love that, man. It's like let me hit the hype bell for that. <clears throat> Dope answer. So it's like you took what you had and your base of, of being a child under a father, and then you take it to the next level. And I think that's what it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So that's super dope right there. All right, man. Let's go ahead and kick this thing off. I think we are gonna go with this one first. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and introduce that song right there. Yes, sir. Hey, man. What's happening? It's your boy, the Red Sun. Featuring my dog, my brother, my Ray. All them days. Let's get. Them day that I was starving made me hungry for more. Yeah. And all them nights when I no lights in that apartment made me heartless and cold. Yeah. Had to take cold showers, I was freezing. One number of ice cubes in the freezer. Scraping the chain to get some food when I need it. Every other day was raining noodles or the seasons. When you ain't need how to fucking greet it. Yeah, I want it all, cause I ain't having when I need it. And I just want a ball, but I ain't made it. Who the f can I call when my dogs and no need? Yeah, yeah. I'm staying at that roller, thinking about the time. When I gave my last one, I ain't had no who gon' take care of mine. The problems you had, I had them too, but you'll swear I'm not. They f me up, I draw the till looking in my tear tonight. Yeah, I made this look good. I do what try to put on the whole hood. But no matter how much I did, I ain't do it. No. They heard it say some chain we ain't good enough. Yeah. Trying to stay up by my feelings When you emotional, then when shit get all wicked Soon as I got on, glad it all different Start 
tripping, I don't need no eye. All them days that I was starving made me hungry for more. Yeah. Ain't all them nights without no lights in that apartment made me heartless and cold. Yeah. Had to take cold showers, I was freezing. One number but ice cubes in the freezer. Scraping the chain to get some food when I need it. Every other day was raining noodles on the seal. Looking out the window, trying to check the vibes. Seeing if it's safe to even come outside. A couple. Pick the blocks are out there still alive They probably put it on repeat, I think I'll stay inside Mama working late, nobody home with me Heavy light on in the house because I couldn't sleep Stomach grinding like a b- we ain't had to eat Ain't no cable, that's the fable, I watch DVDs Ain't no one said keep your chin up I got jumping, kept my chin up Had a white boy as a friend, the only way I'm eating dinner Not by twitch, but I got dinner Lost some contacts with my Had to scrap a couple homies, now they no longer my yeah. Now I done had to face some hard times before And I done been arrested cause I'm tired and broke I'm searching for the answers cause at times I don't know Cause I come from there All them days that I was starving made me hungry for more All them days right there, Derez and Sean, how me in the building, man That song is ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad y'all went ahead and dropped that one But the one you dropped this morning is what I'm trying to get to right now You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, Bandit, man. uh, let's t- look, run me through it uh, you get to the studio that day. What's going through your mind when you when you create this hit right here? I'm calling it a hit because that's what it's gonna be. Oh yeah, that's what's up. I appreciate. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what's going through my mind when I made abandoned man? It's self-explanatory. I feel mm. abandoned in this record. I feel so alone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like I look here and I look there and there's nobody here who can help me with this. It's just me. Yeah. And I feel like I just need to rap about it. And it's all true, everything I'm saying. I mean, like, the majority of my music, yeah. like, I'm speaking on my actual lifestyle. Mm-hmm. But in this one, it's, I think it's deeper and it's more personal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With certain events that went on, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking a little more in detail about it. Yeah. So um, my mindset was just like, talk to him. Yeah. I like it. Let's you know go. Yeah, let's go ahead and let the music talk. Right here, abandoned. You heard it here first. And wicked, but don't get it twisted. I ain't tripping. No, that pistol with me. Ride through the city, minding my own business, vibe my own, get high with my own. I say, don't say you love me now. Been betrayed so many times, I feel like Lord don't let me down. I swear I can say it when I hear this song, so come on. Let's I go. Feel like, yeah, they say love hurts, pain heals. Yeah, I don't know what's worse if they ain't real. Every day I wake up standing at the man in the mirror, I see stains in the mirror, I see pain in the mirror, I see mistakes made, trying to get this paper. Yeah. Fake friends wanna be me, hey. Yeah, just to maintain, being me gets crazy. Yeah, change the same, begin to say I'm changing. Yeah, uh, I know that don't love me, but she said every chance she get. Mm-hmm. I know that same for me, but I fuck her every chance I get. Mm-hmm. Before I blame anybody, I'ma blame myself. Cause I jumped in the game on they one playing fell. Yeah, and I jumped on that plane on I was high as hell. And my heart sucked cause I OD, but I thank God I'm here. I spazzed out in the hospital and got hard to jail. Got out with no missed calls like ain't nobody care. And I was all way in my walking down. Dear at the show. I say, don't say you love me now. Been betrayed so many times, I feel like love don't let me down. I've been played so many times, I feel like don't say you love me now. Been betrayed so many times, I feel like Lord don't let me down. I've been played so many times, I feel like every time I close my eyes, I think about that night when a bullet went in my truck, like flash before my eyes. Laying on that ground, I'm praying to God that I don't die. Laying on that ground, I'm begging God it ain't my time. How all these rats keep dying crazy? Fans target us, trying to hide us in cages. Every day it's getting hard to provide for my babies. Every day I'm dodging charges and watching for hate. Man, it's just crazy life for real, bro. I never in a million years would have thought like this is what come with it. Like, are you gonna sit here like, damn, bro? I finally made it, but damn, this ain't what I want. This ain't how I dream. Yeah, man. What's up, man? 
family change, partners change. Everything they change, and they say you change when you adjust to it. It's crazy, like. A dream turned into a nightmare, you like, damn. I don't want it. I'm good. That's it, man. That's the song. It's going through that. That man can't miss. I'm trying to tell you, like me. You know, I got all them kids. He can't miss it. You know what I'm oh, saying? Sure, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Derez, I appreciate you coming through, bro. Before we let you go, though, we got a fast four questions. We got to chop it up with you. So, you ready for the fast four? I'm ready. All right, man. If you can go back and tell yourself before Hardaway jumped off, what would be that one sentence you would tell yourself? Don't let nobody change your mind on what you believe in. Mm, I like it. That's it. That's a t-shirt right there, man. All right, next question. If you could pick one thing that you wish anybody, everybody that met you knew just or understood about you, what would that be? I'm not me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Say the man named Debo. <laughs> nah, I get it, dog. I'm not me. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. All right, if you could go on tour with five artists, who would be on that bus? Chris Brown, Future, Thug, Drake. Uh, That's a hell of a tour right there, man. Somebody somebody called Live Nation right right now. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Well, I'm at number four right yeah, now. You Chris Brown, Future, more. Thug, Drake. Mm. I want to go left one time. Mm. Uh, mm, mm, five is like, ah. I can't it's even tough. think. Me. Tough. There you go. <laughs> there we go. You was already on the bus, but yeah, it's all yeah. good. We're going to let you go with that. I had to double up on the me right, right. quick. Yeah. <laughs> all right, last question. You could sit down and have a dinner with anybody, five people at this table. You at the table already, so I ain't going to let you cheat on okay, this. Okay, okay. All right, and they could be here or, or in another, the next round, next atmosphere. Who would those five people be? Five people to sit at the dinner table with? Yeah, they could be here or not here. God, mm. Muhammad, mm. Um, Gandhi, mm. uh, my granny. Okay. And uh, Chris Brown. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, that's that's the illest table I, I got so far. Bro. <laughs> got Chris Brown and Muhammad. Yeah, bro, yeah, and yeah. God, that's great. Yeah, I I, yeah. I like I like the the, the move, man. Yeah, got I need to know. Out. Tell me what what I'm really need to do, <laughs> Muhammad. And I lie, I need right. I need to know where I'm going. Exactly. Am I doing right, Chris Brown? We gonna kick it after this dinner, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's a fact, man. I, so so uh, the Reds are signing Chris Brown music coming soon. <laughs> we gonna put yes, that out sir. there. Let's put it in the L. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate your time, bro. I need to give y'all this recent peace of mind again. No pops knows best as we always do to round the show out before we get back into this abandoned again. Uh, just because you're exceptional at one thing does not mean that you are not supposed to attempt to conquer something else. This man just said that in different ways throughout this interview. So make sure that y'all rewind that back and Thanks. get some of that inspiration for that, bro. I appreciate you again for pulling up on us right here at Reshow Live in the game. Shout out my brother, Potty Ali. We're going to play this song again, man, because you know why? Because cause I have control of the buttons right now. Let's get into yes. it. Yes. But don't get it twisted. I ain't tripping. No, that pistol with me. 